The second part of the split sermon, we get to hear from our other senior elder from Kenya, Elder Harrison. How do you follow that one, though, Harrison? <laughs> Good job. Shalom. Shalom. Once more. Shalom. Shalom. Yes. I'm glad. More so. To be this holy lad. Whereby. Uh, what I am missing once. To. Put to my happiness. But before I come to that, or before I now come to the uh, issue I'm about to, to, to talk of today, I uh, would now expect to give my greetings from the governor of my country, because Kenya has got 47 counties and I'm coming from one of these counties by the name of Embu and the governor by the name of Martin Yaga on behalf of the Kenya government and especially our president as well and all the people of Kenya Send me with and especially special greetings to our bra beloved brother Don, because they know each other to the people of Israel as well as brother Don as well. Thank you, because I have had many sermons who have come here, especially my brothers from Philippines, when I'm out, all right, here, wherever we have gone, seeing wonderful, they have heard wonderful testimonies on the way as we talk with some of you, as well as privileged to meet brothers here whom I never met in my first visit here in Israel, the year 2014. Like my friend over there, Jacob, his wife over there, Paul over here, and uh, I am also privileged to meet those whom I met in a good, good, good mood. Brother over here, El Kese, to mention just a few, and also Brother Bet, whom I came to know each other from this land. Though we are coming from the same land, it's cause from my place to Brother Bet over there, something to do with 400 kilometers as well, or more. Was amazed to hear some comments of those who have come in this group over here, as well as outside, I had a wonderful sermon, especially to our brother Benjamin, who also put in and said, is amazed as to how Brother Don is grasping some of these issues. And maybe as we go along, he might join us because he is amazed. If he such more can be one of us, as I heard him say. Our brother Beto there also said that he has gone through Brother Dodd's testimony and he has found that it is worthy and that he is in the Messianic Assembly we have now to sit and talk and find what is 
incorrect and we put it correct because that one is an act of here we know well I have followed also Brother Don since 2002 when I came to know him and I have wandered all the way through is because when I received the word of Yahweh from Israel, from Brother Daga, I have been left hanging as to what to do, because it lacked some interactivity of metabolism and catapolicy. Those are jargons as I may apply. It missed that because it was only based on Ten Commandments. And no more, no less. Even when I was baptized back in 1973, I was just left hanging as to what to do and as to where to go until this address I gave my sermon the other day 2014 when I knew of the judicial order and its workings that is going to be given across to all continents and to all countries now I'm very glad to see you all in here and especially for Brother Don, who has also been privileged through Yahweh even to work with the nascent here in Israel. Because, as you also heard, he is now working with the Minister of Interior of this land as well as he has good connection the minister of defense the ambassador for united states that is un which are the top organs of any ruling country anyway before i go and before like a uh, uh, extend my happiness towards that cause, I may now would like to say I'm very, very, very happy and uh, may I now extend that happiness to the book of Psalms 87 so that I may be my grounds of that. For the sons of Korah, a psalm, a song, its foundation is the mountain of holiness. Yahweh loves the gates of Zion more than all no, the tents of Jacob. Glorious things are spoken of you, O city of the Elohim, Selah. I will mention love and Babylon to those who know me. Behold, Phoenicia and Tyre with Ethiopia, this man was born there. And if and it shall be, say to Zion, this man and that man was born in her, and the highest himself shall establish her. In recalling the peoples, Yahweh shall mark down. This man was born there, and the singers, the prayers of the five, all my springs are in you. It has uh, of the time Past few minutes ago, Andasha 
as more ka as be supported by fast sharing and the singers the prayers of the pie as those who have sung in here from Philippines brother Andy and Jesse and our dear sister have brought those pipes and they have played the song because this is all it is so the foundation in which I am where Yahweh is I feel very happy and I feel I am in and on the presence of Yahweh more than any other place because I feel as if I am lifted to wherever I am going because everywhere is backed by first three glorious things are spoken of you, O city of the Elohim. Because I have heard glorious things of this land and because I am on the foundation as was one says, of this mountain of holiness, therefore I feel, not that I think, the presence of Yahweh in me. Now, before I comment on the judicial order and the importance of our readers, this is all I can see of this land. Anyway, the issue of judicial order and the importance of our leaders is what I want to produce a little bit before I sit down. Sometimes in 2014, I wanted to reach Chista, the congregation back in my country, and I went to the uh, registrar of societies and I wanted to call it judicial order because that is all I felt in my head and I was told oh my friend you cannot register you are a society or you are a congregation under the judicial order because there are three arms of government executive legislature and judiciary and then on that issue I was refused to do that when I went to Sasamo because I registered I registered under another name which is afflicted to the congregation of Yahweh Jerusalem in here now as we talk when I went to find out the meaning of judicial, I just was amazed to see it was part of my belief because judicial is related to a court of law. Judicial decision you have to make, ruling to bring or take judicial proceedings. And therefore, if judicial is, means that, it directed me to think much. It's because we are called upon through many scriptures now to shape our own destiny. This way now I came to find out. I have to follow that line now because it connects decision and the ruling and the proceedings of how, to, how I have to follow is because mansa, mankind will be, dis, will be judged according to his purpose and will on this earth. The book of Joel reminded me of what I'm going to do. This is Joel chapter 3 verse 14. Joel the book of Joel, 
chapter 3. Joel chapter 3, verse 14. It is it, as I read. Joel chapter 3, verse 14. We quote it. Verse 14 says, Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision, for the day of Yahweh is near in the valley of decision. When I considered that one, I considered myself to be a man. Those who are called a pan to decide on what to do and on what to follow. This body of decision is referred to in some other terms and it is in the body of Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat is in this land, the body of decision. Then, I have two options now to do. The option number one was to decide. And if I was to decide, I had to consider as also I would also advise you and as well as I'm advising others now according to the book of uh, Deuteronomy 12 verse 8 which says you shall not do according to all that we are doing here today each doing all that is light in his own eyes because you can always be tempted to do what is light in your own eyes not following the proper proceedings as the word stands for which is now not the case is because many are following the trap because they have considered according to what they find fit for them like those who uh, changed the day of worship from seventh day that is Sabbath day for their own wish and keeping it within the first day of the week. Can always prove that they did according to their wish. As well as we are called upon because there is one baptism, one congregation, one Yahweh, and one faith, etc as is in the book of Ephesians and it is stated that way. So, we have not to do according to our own wish or our own programs. It's because in the entire book says that the word of Yahweh will be preached for the end time message and it has to come from Zion. Not America, not Kenya, not Rome, not Switzerland, not America, where Paul is coming from, but from this, for a purpose. So, in Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 1 to 2, Deuteronomy, chapter 4, 1 to 2, And now, Israel, listen to the statutes and the judgments which I'm teaching you to do, so that you may live and go in 
and he possessed the land which Yahweh, the heroine of your fathers, is giving you today. You shall not add to the word which I command you, nor take from it to keep the commandments of Yahweh, your Elohim, which I command you. So in this respect, in this respect, Yahweh is not a respect of persons, but he will reward you if you have added or subtracted. He will judge you accordingly now. Because the want of Yahweh in the judicial order system is voluntary and it is reciprocal. Take and give. He says now, work has to be done in seven days. There he comes. And on the work has to be done on six days. And on the seventh day is the day of rest. That is Sabbath. That's all. You get that one. For a pay as well. Because the rewarding and pay is with Yahweh. So it is for you to live. And this is why there is no much argument with anybody, anywhere, on anything as pertaining to the one here now. It's because you have to give just the freely. And whoever receives that, he gets it. And the others to it because it's voluntary and it is reciprocal. And I find it very easy and I'm happy because of the system as I defined there earlier on since all those years I've been wandering in the world without a proper message that I can deliver to any, anybody but now I stand on my feet not to argue with any but give the message because in Ezekiel chapter 2 verse 7 which I don't read now says the only issue is you tell them whether they hear it or not. Your mission is God, and that's all is needed from you. Because, because Yahweh does not change. This is in Mark chapter 3, verse 6. Yahweh does not change. This is the book of Mark, chapter 3, verse 6. For I am Yahweh, I do not change. Because of this, you sons of Jacob are not destroyed. How does not earn, neither subtract. Neither does he want you to earn or subtract. Because he does not change. So answer uh, by now. We consider the first week of teaching. You get it. In Genesis 1, which I just quote, if you want to note, you can note. In Genesis 1, verse 1 to 4, they have created light and day, darkness and night. That was day one. And here, the wonder comes. Here we are coming maybe at 7, as we have been given, given the itinerary, so that or something like that. And I'm going to go at the last. Yes, and we did like that when you are born. This has never changed. Light and day has, not, has never changed. Darkness and night. This yesterday was in the room, I was asking my brother, what time is it now? Because here I never hear crows or cocks crowing. I don't know whether they are really here, which crows. I don't know. We never had one. So, this is that. In day two, waters, that is Genesis chapter 1, 6 to 8. Waters under experts, and the waters above experts. If you read there, you get it clearly because it is written. So waters, and brother don't mention that one today somewhere in our studies out. What 
doctors and the experts. And and above. Wonderful. Now we created that. In day two. In day three, he created herbs and fruits. It is wonderful to see herbs here in Israel. Every kind of herb that I know, I've seen it here in Israel. Every kind of fruit that I know, and many that I don't know, I have seen them here in Israel. Since 2014, up to this time, now, like when we toured David's palace yesterday, where David, David fought Goliath in that there are these greenery herbs there, which I came to discover. They are a deal which Yahshua mentioned in the book of Matthew chapter 23, verse 23, because they were there for a purpose. I would like to consider that before I talk. For sort of hope as well. In Matthew chapter 23, verse 24, no, 23, 23, sorry. Matthew 23, I add that. Matthew 23, verse 23. Woe to you, scribes. These are the ones of Yahshua. And the Pharisees, hypocrites, for you pay tithes of meat and deal and cumin, and you have them left aside the weightier matter of the Torah, judgment and mercy and faith. And these things we were necessary for you to have done. And this you should not have forgotten. So he qualified them. Because he knew the purpose of meat, deal, and that all. So this is why. But on the other side, he said, you are not doing it for you today and reciprocal. It's because you are doing one part. On the other one, you are not paid. But on the part you are doing, that is okay. So he qualified herbs and fruits. Therefore, Sun and moon were created, and here you can see sun, night we can see moon. And therefore, see creatures and birds and all that. Day six, that is 24 to 31, Genesis. Cattle, creepy things and beasts, and Adam and Eve were created in that day. Each of Yahweh's creation needed another for existence. This is why I also don't want to delay you much in here because many might feel cold and the only son, well, my they might pass a little bit for that. No, everything needed the other for existence. Adam himself was given an order to follow in the judicial order system that in that process. That is Genesis 1 verse 26. And the Elohim said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness and let them rule over fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over the cattle and over the earth on over the creepers creeping on the earth. So, Adam was given rulership, not ownership in this case. And therefore, if he was given rulership, he went this way, which is making a Sabbath even today. And it is here as a coronet summarizing whereby the judicial order system has to be started and be given to humankind at this particular chapter of human history. It's because in chapter 3 of Genesis, that is verse 2 and 3, 
says, but of the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden, Elohim has said, you shall not eat of it, nor shall you touch it, lest you die. This he gave to the woman. Because if you go back to verse 2, and the woman said to the serpent, of the fruit of the trees of the garden, we may eat. This is the answer that if said to the serpent that they have to eat what Yahweh wants them to eat. And because of the new, the whole program in verse 6, we can go there and see. And the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and the tree was desirable to make one wise, and she took of it fruits and ate, and she also gave to her husband with her, and he ate. Here came come the program, the, 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 the process now of disobedience, which now has to be rectified through the judicial order starting from there now because mankind fell into sin which has to be corrected in the order that Brother Don has devised or Yahweh has used him for recollection. Before I end, I go to Luke chapter 13 verse 3 which now says now, chapter 13, verse 3, No, I say to you, but if you don't, you do not repent, you will all likewise be destroyed. So there is that system of, of repenting now. There is that decision you have to make. As you repent, because you cannot repent what you have not searched for and make a decision of, as that which I made when I recorrected that I was baptized wrongly in the name of Jesus and in 2014 I was baptized in the Galilee and the hands were laid on me in the proper way. And this is the message we are carrying across, correcting that mystic, which was done back in 70, both in Kenya, Benin, Nigeria, and some parts of, uh, 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 some parts of Uganda, and then Congo. Burundi have no much problem, is because that uh, problem uh, was not made in Brother Meditas over here, in their country. So, when you repent, there is the anyone that I can put in here now, as I say, sit down, because this message has to be seen on our foundation such that Yahweh has put in Zion as well. So, in Corinthians, in Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, chapter 5, 2 Corinthians, Chapter 5, verse 17 says. So, that if anyone is a Messiah, he is a new creation. The only things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new, and all things are from Elohim. The one having reconciled us to himself through Yahshua Messiah and having given to us the ministry of reconciliation. This is now a system of Jewish order which is now the ministry of reconciliation through the judicial order system and the leadership laid in there so that every organization through now 
the message of reconciliation should look to Zion and the gates are open before they are shut with regardless of the differences which might be so the door is open for you to air your fields which is in the ministry of this reconciliation and finally restoration for a purpose which is collective responsibility for all now because it's not a one man soul. So we can say, and I put to it as I sit down, because I don't want to go for wrong. We have now the leadership which is laid on judicial orders to see everything is in line in this end times. As we have also witnessed all over since we came here. So it is me now to go out. As I went out, uh, when I was taught about uh, uh, the ambassador programs for <coughs> Israel in the training, the higher that, which training you have also been trained now, because we have gone all around and we have seen. All that is pertaining to this land, which is prepared by Yahweh in this end time message. So I may put it is me and you, wherever you are now, and us all. And this is why I say it is a collective responsibility so that we may move the world, the whole world now, to understand this and prepare the way. Because Yahweh prepared the way for, I mean, John prepared the way for Yahshua. And now, Brother John now has set the program to prepare a way for a soon coming king who is coming in this land. So it is now upon us now. Because a workable program is now there for us to follow, which is very simple because it has to be obeyed and followed, and the rest we leave to Yahweh for the miracles which will show to you and to me and to us all the miracle such as which Yahweh has put Brother Don in this land of Israel whereby we are uh, privileged to meet all of us the 20 nations around from all over the world. So if it is me and you and us so say when we live here you get maybe a hundred to the fold of Yahweh all the 20 nations, that would be 2 million within a short period. And that 2 million within a period of 10 years, if time will allow, in which, in any case, according to Benjamin, our brother who was here, was really pointing to a cross of time. But because Yahweh is merciful, he won't let his gonna lay with him when he comes in this land be left behind. So it is our duty as we live in here to tell them to join the ongoing world, if I may say, to whoever who wishes and our work being so simple because our message of a league conciliation and restoration is quite, quite clear in all ways. So when I go home, I will report to my governor on behalf of my people in Kenya and on behalf of our president that I have confided the message and the greetings through the governor to the people of Israel and to the government of Israel because we are part and parcel of the judicial order because judicial order 
touches all walks of life in one way or the other. Thank you very much. May I bless you all.